Hello my lovely Aquarius gang, welcome to your reading. So this is a timeless reading so whenever you get to see this video it can be for then or for future purposes. Um, so what I've been doing is some oracle cards, not the tarot side of this reading. I've done some monology cards that come up for you. I've done some unicorn oracles. Um, also mermaid and dolphin ones. And the saints and angel ones. We have then the archangel ones. The daily guidance angels. Ascended masters. And then we have the messages from your guides. So... I'm going to start off first then with the Moonology ones. And the first card that came out for you then is New Moon in Leo with Confidence is your key to success. So this is your Moonology card that have come out for you. So let's see what the um, guidance is and see what um, is all about. Okay, so what it's telling you is make time to have some fun. It's time for you to show the world what you have got. Shine your light, have some pride, spoil yourself because you've earned it and you've turned someone's head. So that's a card from the Moonology deck. From the Unicorn deck then we have the card of help with the help you need is on its way so keep watching for it. Let's see what the book has to say. The unicorns are just a thought away. Ask them for the help you need and trust that they will bring it to you. And the affirmation prayer that you need to say then is the unicorns are helping me. Next card is intuition with listen to your inner wisdom. Your unicorn, unicorn guidance is to spend quiet time today so that you can tune into your inner wisdom. The answers you need are within you and the unicorns will help you to access them. Your affirmation is, it is safe to act on my own intuition. You then have a card of wisdom with act with wisdom and people will respect you. You are called on to access your innate wisdom and act with honour in an aspect of your life. Ask the unicorns to help you and they will support and guide you. Your affirmation that you need to say is, I act with wisdom today. Right. Mermaids and dolphins card, you have protection with you, your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Let's see what else it has to say in the book about that. So... Your prayers, which you have asked for, about safety and protection, have been heard and answers. Any attacks or threats are now a thing of the past. Washed away with the tide of heavenly love. This love is clearing away your insecurities so that you can feel totally secure. When you ask heaven to watch over you, your loved ones, your home and your possessions, your prayers are instantly answered. There's no hesitation or delay on heaven's part. It's done as soon as you ask. 
Your energies can now be directed in a meaningful and creative way. With your mind clear of worries, enjoy your day. The protection one. You then have accept heaven's help with you prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. You asked, what should I do next? This card responds, trust that your prayers have been heard and answered. Simply rest and retreat for now, after all you prayed for divine intervention. So step aside and let heaven intervene, as this is the help that you prayed for. You can assist the process initiated by your prayers through quiet contemplation. Ask heaven to give you a very clear, easily understandable guidance letting you know if you need to take any action in the meantime enjoy knowing your angels and guides surround you and your situation with loving care we then have the saints and angels deck then with peaceful with the holy spirit Allow the Holy Spirit to melt away the ice of anger and fear by shining a warm beam of divine love upon you and the situation. Trust that this can reach deep into everyone's being, evoking a positive change of heart for you and others. As gentle and pure as a dove, the Holy Spirit heals the situation in a harmonious way. You then have the card of generosity with Saint Nicholas of Myra. Okay. You are asked to start or continue giving time, money, assistance or goods. This act helps you to know how much you have and leads to feeling of abundance that automatically attracts greater prosperity into your life. The more you give, the more you receive. Contribute with joy and be totally detached from the outcome of your offering. St. Nicholas reminds you of the happiness that you will receive when you give to others from the spirit of love. Allow yourself to be surprised at how the universe gives back to you. St. Nicholas's legendary generosity led him to be called Santa Claus and became a patron saint of children and the needy. One of the most famous stories about him describes his rescue of three young girls whose father was about to send them into prostitution to save the Im impo impoverished, impoverished family. The saints threw three bags of gold through the girls' bedroom window so their future was secure. Saint Nicholas also helped reform thieves and assisted those wrongfully imprisoned. You can call upon him to inspire and guide your volunteer work and show you the best avenues to give donations. That's one thing I didn't know about Santa Claus. Okay, so now we have the Archangel cards and this one is Prayer Works with Dear God and Archangel Raphael. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer of and then tell them what type of prayer um, you prayed for. Pray about every aspect of a certain situation. Instead of worrying, just pray. Talk honestly with God and the angels about your fears, your desires and feelings. 
ask for help and then accept assistance when it's offered. Start a prayer or a support group for the issue at hand. Next one then is leave a stressful situation behind with Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage and the willingness to take good care of myself, including surrounding myself with healthy relationships and positive situations. Know that when you take good care of your health, everyone benefits. Release guilt to God and the angels. Make a list of pros and cons about the stressful situation. Speak honestly with yourself and others about your true feelings and observations. Get support from people you trust in order to make healthful changes. You then have the Daily Guidance Oracle with perfect timing now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations the doors are opening while you walk through them with us by your side don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome you then have the deck of ascended masters and the first card is Isis with balanced career and your home life. Okay, so what it says, play is a much needed requirement for you right now. Make sure that your needs are being met. Delegate work to others. Say no to unrealistic demands upon your time and be honest with yourself and keep healthfully boundaries in your work and your home life. Spend more time devoted to activities that make your heart sing with joy. You then have see the other person's point of view. So next card. See yourself through the eyes of any person you desire to know or to meet. Let go of any defensiveness in your relationships. Look past the surface personality and see the divine within others. Forgive past hurts and start anew. You then have the card of Stay Focused. Stay Focused, okay. Be assertive with demands upon your time. Keep your promises to yourself. Commit to your priorities. Spend time each day devoted to projects that are dear to your heart. Detoxify your diet to help your mind to be clear and focused. The last deck we have then is messages from your guides. And this card is don't relinquish your power. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, you have created a blueprint for yourself and your role in this matrix of life is vital. Never be less than who you are. If this card appears in your spread, exa examine how you may be taking a back seat in a dynamic of this incarnation. Incarnation, as it. It may seem like an easier role to how if you acquire it to others, but in reality, you are doing a disservice to not only yourself but your soul family. Your influence matters. Your opinions matter, it is part of your birthright. Don't be so quick to un undermine yourself and give away the strength of your convictions. The puzzle pieces that create the bigger picture don't come together as a whole. If you choose not to participate, 
Have faith in yourself and know that your emotions are manifesting in a certain way and at a certain time for a reason. Many insecure humans try to take away the power of others to build up their own shortcomings. Be aware that this is the result of a fragile ego. Acknowledge this and don't engage in any attempts at manipulation. Be steadfast and have resolve. You have feel joy in all you do. When you are not happy, you are not in alignment with your true divinity and you have placed yourself in the earth mindset of judgment and fear. Feelings of joy are spirit's way of letting you know that you are following your true path. The emotion of joy is a signal to your conscious mind that this action that makes you feel this way is what you should be doing more. Only you know what feels good in your heart. So don't let the judgment of others dissuade you from following your bliss. Do what you love and love what you do is the mantra of this card. If something is making you miserable, you have the power to change your circumstances. The human lifespan is far too short to not be doing what feeds your soul. When you become to live in joy, you become a beacon of love and the law of attraction will see that only good things will come to you. Last card then is practice moderation. You have chosen to incarnate to this physical dimension to enjoy and partake in experiences you could not have anywhere else. In all things, whether in the spirit realms or on earth, balance is the key to everything. Moderation simply means avoiding extremes in all things. You must learn to conserve energies and bring moderation in order to live a fuller life. Express yourself more clearly and cultivate the gifts from your spirit. If you have a card that makes this appearance in the spread, you need to examine what aspects of your life seems to overshadow the rest. Too much work, too much food, too much stress are all common areas to keep a watchful eye on. You are a precious being and that you need to understand that it is your responsibility to bring yourself to a state of balance and moderation or suffer the consequences. In life, there should always be a sense of cooperation with others. You are experiencing a time in our civilization that is saturated with stimulation and technology. It is therefore imperative to stop and be mindful of the moments that you are living. Simplicity in all things mixed together with a sense of balance is everything you partake in that makes for a happier and longer life. Okay then Aquarius, that is your reading. I hope you can all resonate to some extent. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I see you all again soon. Bye!